Plus learning her fate, the ex-wife of Detroit rapper Eminem is in court being sentenced for drunk driving. And that story does stop our news at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evrod Kasimi. You might remember when we broke this story several months ago, we highlighted that her case had been sealed. But since then, it's been reopened. And as our Nick Monticelli reports, Mathers faced the judge possibly for the last time. Good afternoon. This could be the end of this saga, the drunk driving case for Kim Mathers, the ex-wife of rapper Eminem. But it's a story that we almost didn't know about. Mathers, file number 15-2205. This could be the last time we see Kim Mathers in court. This drunk driving case could be behind her. But it lasted more than a year. Mathers now admitting what happened in October of last year was a suicide attempt. And the aftermath was caught on cell phone video and police dash cams. You know who it is? No. Kim Mathers. Is it? Yep. She's hammered. Fuck, I asked her what happened. She said, I'm drinking and driving. She smells like she's hammered. Mathers says she intentionally slammed her SUV into a ditch and a utility pole before it landed upside down. Back then, she also openly admitted to the drinking. How much do you have to drink today, Kim? I'm going to bed. What were you drinking? Um, I Originally, this court case was sealed, partly because of her medical information. But after Local 4 got copies of reports and the dash cam video, the case was reopened. Originally, Mathers wanted to take this to trial, but instead pleaded no contest to drunk driving. I'm really, truly, deeply sorry for my actions that day. They were selfish, um, destructive. Um, I didn't take into consideration anybody else's safety. So what exactly is her sentence? She got one year of probation and $900 in fines. You may think that's a little light, but the judge here made it a point to say that this is technically her first drunk driving case, so that is standard for a first-time offender. In Shelby Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.